Okay, so welcome to the Morris Federation series of uh, talks and workshops during lockdown. Uh, today we have Linda and Jay Glanville, assisted by me, uh, teaching a solo border style dance. And uh, this is intended for one person, but could quite easily be adapted for two. Um, so we're going to start with some workshop, um, some workshops, some warm ups, and then I'm going to hand over to Linda. OK, so if we like to start, uh, if you, oh, if what I've done here is I've got, I'm going to dance in that square mostly so that I've put four points. So we'll see how that goes. So if we just do some walk rounds just to kind of get going. Perhaps walk on your toes a little bit. Go the other way if you like. A little bit on your heels. Circle your arms, get them warmed up. So if you take that into a light, sort of very easy jog, figure man. And still move your arms around. So the range of movements of the arms will be out and to the side and up. So we just want to stretch all those. And then if we'd like to just do some gentle single stepping. We'll go forwards and back if you like. We will be going forwards and back and many circles. And a few more, if you like the opposite, arms going the opposite way, if you like that challenge. Okay, a few more single steps, just a bit higher now, a bit more like we were doing the dance. Okay, so I'm a bit warmer anyway. It's quite cold in here today. So, okay, so I'm going to hand you straight over to Linda Glanville now. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our workshop. Um, during lockdown, we sort of felt that um, border dances were getting missed out because Cotswold have jigs. Northwest, a lot of people have been learning John Earnshaw celebration, and it's easier to use a selection of a variety of steps for Northwest. So we thought we needed to do something for border, um, which is a bit more difficult because the main characteristic of border is clashing sticks with somebody else. So to overcome that, we decided we would use two sticks so that we would get some clashing in it. At the time, we were waiting for the vaccine, which is where the name came from, but uh, thankfully Pauline and now and I can now call it waiting for the second vaccine. Um, as Pauline said, it's a single step dance starting with the right foot. What we will do is demonstrate each, demonstrate the chorus and the figures, then walk through them and then dance them. We're going to start off with the basic dance, which is the dance with the chorus the same all the way through and then at the end we'll go through the chorus a more complicated chorus with progressive um, choruses. So as Pauline mentioned she's got some squares on her floor because we decided we would try and make something that fitted within a framework so that it was easier to follow and all the figures fit within that square. The square is on the, no the written notation which will be available as well. So we're going to dance the chorus first of all. The tune is Bora. Bora written by Barry Goodman. So we'll dance the chorus and then 
I'll explain it and Pauline will walk through it and then we'll have a chance to dance it together. It'll be a short intro. Well, it's as long as it <laughs> is, really. <laughs> a square so from the start position going forward then turning left going backwards turning left again going forwards turning left again and going backwards so that's the the path you're taking um, it's two single steps and two clashes to start with. Step, hop, step, hop. And then that's on the spot. And then you take two single steps forward with your sticks on your shoulder. And on the hop of the second step, that's when you do the turn. So you're doing one, two, and turn. The next one is backwards. So it's two clashes on the spot and two single steps, two single steps backwards and turn on the hop. And then you're going forwards and then backwards. So we'll dance that twice to music. <laughs> that Linda's voice isn't very loud. I don't know whether that's a problem for other people. Is that um, all the time or when it's playing, when the music's playing? Keith and Rosemary, could you unmute and let us know? Yeah, it, it was all the time before the music was playing when she was actually speaking. Can you turn your uh, microphone volume up, Linda? It's full up. Oh, it's full up. Okay. Well, um, is it better if I'm nearer the computer when I'm talking? It yes. is, yes. Right. Um, I'll try, I'll stay here then when I'm talking. And, and uh, yeah, thank you. Right. Um, let, can I have a look? Was everybody, uh, everybody else okay on the chorus? Right. Okay. Right, first figure is called Put Up. It was going to be um, the start of the dance, but then we decided that the B music wasn't um, the best for starting the dance, so it's better starting on the A music. So Foot Up became figure one. Um, and you're starting in the same corner of the square and you're going to take four steps to go diagonally across the square, four steps to come backwards, and then eight steps to go clockwise round the circle. So four steps diagonally across, four steps diagonally back, and eight steps clockwise in a circle. So we'll, we'll dance a chorus and that figure foot up, a chorus and foot up. <laughs> Oh! 
anybody that's new to Zoom, um, Pauline and I won't be totally in time with each other because of the lag. <laughs> um, right, the next figure is a back to back, which we'll dance and then I'll walk, I'll talk through. Um, we'll just go straight into the back to back, Pauline. <laughs> you're imagining that you're doing um, a back-to-back -back right shoulders with somebody and then a back-to-back -back left shoulders. So the basic pattern is to go two steps forward, two steps to the right, and then the simplest version come diagonally back to where you started. And then turn right 90 degrees, and now you're going to do a back to back with your left. So go forward for two, go to the left, and then come diagonally back to where you started. That's the basic uh, movement for people that don't like twirling. We've added a twirl to it. Um, so with a twirl in it, you go two forward, two to the side, and then as you come back diagonally, you're going to turn left. So if you imagine it's a triangle, you're turning into the middle of the triangle. Then you're going to go across to do the left one, two steps across, two steps forward, two steps across. And then as you come diagonally back, you're going to turn right. So you're turning into that triangular shape. So we'll just walk that again. Two steps forward, two to the right, and then backwards and turn. Turn the 90 degrees, two steps forward, two to the left, and then diagonally backwards. The, the two steps forward, two to the right, that's not absolutely essential because border tends to be more fluid, but uh, that's just to give you some idea of the timing of it. Um, let me just check if uh, everybody's okay with that. All right, and I can't see any heads. All right, so we'll do um, a chorus, a back to back, a chorus, and a back to back. <laughs> thumbs up there that's the next page <laughs> there's someone with their hands on the head oh, what? Yes. <sighs> tell us what the problem is she's tearing her hair up um what i don't get the back to back at all i can't i can't picture it from what you're saying and then when you're dancing it i can't get it if that makes sense can you walk through it just once sure yeah. Thank you. I'll do the simple one without the twizzle. Yeah. Thank you. 
I, I can only get Linda on the screen. I've not done Zoom before, so I haven't got a clear what I'm doing. So I've only got Linda on my screen. Oh, OK. Well, Linda better demonstrate it then. Thank oh, you. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's good to be know. Does it help if I turn round? Um, no. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know at the moment. I'll, I'll, um, I'll turn yeah, around. Yeah, if I follow you, yeah. So I'm going forward. Are you going with your left foot first or does it not make a difference? It's right foot all the way through the dance. Right, okay. So I'm doing two single steps forward. Yeah. Two across to the right. Yeah. And now I'm going to take four back to where I started. So it's like making a triangle shape. Right. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to turn 90 degrees to my right. Okay. And I'm going to go two steps forward again. Two steps to the left this time. And then diagonally back to where I started. Is it two back or four back? Two. Oh, four back. Four back. Two right. forward, two across, four back. Right. Sorry, can I do that one more time in one go? Pardon? Can I do that one more time just in one movement? Is that all right? So I'm going two forward, two to the right, four back. Turning, two forward. Uh, turning. To the left way. and four backwards. Right. Okay. I'm going to go back on mute. I'll give it a go. <laughs> right. So we'll we'll dance that again. We'll do um, a chorus and back to back twice. What well, a chorus. I just got a question. Can I check? There is no clashing in the back to back. No. So in the, so, sorry, there is no clashing in the back to back. <laughs> Chorus, back to back, chorus, back to back. now oh she's shaking her head oh um can you imagine the four I don't know, can you imagine the four spots on the floor does that help i'll tell you what it is is i think we're trying to show you the notation which has got a diagram of it no it's just white that is a bit nearer it's just ah right right down at the bottom that's the path you're dancing <laughs> What bit. I don't understand is I'm starting in the top right hand corner. No, bottom left. Bottom left. Okay, put some. Um, can you swap the speaker views around, Jenny? Uh, the, the spotlight. Can you put me on spotlight? It might be easier um, to do them the other way around then. So I'm sorry, I don't know your real name, Wombles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it might be easier. The other that way sounds around. like a mouth. <laughs> can, you see, can you see the four spots on the yeah. floor? Yeah. Right, so we'll start here. We'll start right. at the bottom left. That, uh, is that where I'm supposed to start on the, on the Everything. Bottom? Everything starts here. On the bottom left? Yeah. Maybe so that's you're going there wrong because I'm starting on the bottom right. Ah, <laughs> that'll be it then. Right. So if you okay. start here, then the back yeah. to back is going to go forward, a right back, right, and then back to back. Right. So that's my bottom right. I was. 
that's my top right. So I'm going forwards two. Forwards. Yeah. Sideways. Yeah. Then diagonally back to where you started. Two, three, four. Yeah. And then you turn slightly that way. Yeah. So you're going forwards that way. Yeah. Left. Because it's only you can only go left. Yeah. And then diagonally back. Right. I think I think I'm starting in yeah. My I think my image of uh, Linda is mirrored because in on my picture she's starting on the far right. Yeah, because yeah. she's facing you, and yeah. I've got my back to you. Of course she is. <laughs> right, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why we did it both. You, yeah. you could choose. For most people, yeah. they've got both on the screen and they can choose. Yeah. Sorry, got... I think it's used to dancing opposite someone, but suddenly on a screen, it seems a whole... Right, so oh, I'm starting in the yeah. wrong place. So when I start the chorus, I need to start where I've just started now. Yeah, yeah. There. Right. Go forwards, turn left, backwards, turn left, forwards, turn left, backwards, turn left. Right. Okay, I'll go yeah. on mute again now. It does help having the full spot. <laughs> I'll go on mute so you can't hear me swearing. Okay. We've, we've got some um, three questions about the twizzling spinning bit. I don't know if you want to look uh, at them. Um, right, let's have a look. Right, on the, the twizzling, on the first half, when you're going um, forward and going to the right, you're turning left as you come back. So left shoulder, left shoulder goes back. And then when you go across, you, when you do your turn, go across and then go to the left. When you come backwards, you're turning to the right. So your right shoulder is going in. And the spinning is done um, as you start coming backwards. Right, let's see the last one. Is the turn left first? It, it's pretty much optional though, because some teams like to put spins in their back to back. So if you don't normally in your team, then you don't have to. It's just for people, some teams do like to do that. So for M, to answer MA's question, it is turning left first time and then right in the second half. Yeah. And that's because if you adapt this for two, you won't crash into each other. Right. Um, the next figure is called windmill. So we will demonstrate windmill. Just the figure, not the chorus. <laughs> So for this figure, you're dancing two circles. The first one is clockwise. And as you go around clockwise, you're swinging your right stick like a windmill sail. Um, it's eight steps to go round. So you can imagine you've got eight clashes. So you've got first step, you're clashing up in the air. Second one is down third one is up, fourth one is down, fifth one is up, sixth one is down, seventh is up, eighth is down. So you go once round clockwise, and then you're going to turn, let's wait till Pauline's done that. Then you're going to turn out, which is left shoulder back, and you're going to do the same thing going anti-clockwise, but it's your left arm that's doing the swinging of the windmill sail which is much more difficult to do because we don't usually use our left arm for sticking so um it's it's harder so you, you tr your hand is going round in a circle so you're you're effectively doing a, a forehand at the top 
of the circle and a backhand at the bottom if you're imagining you're clutching. So you're going once round eight steps clockwise, turn out or turn left, and then do the same going anti clockwise. Right, just check whether that needs any more explanation. Um, shall I review? It will feel odd when you do the left hand for people who are not left handed, by the way. So don't worry if it feels weird. Yeah, be careful of your ceiling lights and anything around the room. <laughs> so again, we'll do a chorus, a windmill, a chorus and a windmill. <laughs> Well, that's lots of thumbs up. Well done, everybody. Right. Um, we'll just, we go, the next figure is called Clover. Jay's going to show a picture. Um, right, you need to go a bit further forward. Right, and down a bit. You're going to be starting where the red, is that the right way round, Pauline? Do you get yeah, if you just go further back because your name's obscuring it a little on my screen anyway. That's yeah, up a bit slightly. That's it. Stop. <laughs> right. The red square is where you're starting from. And you're going to be moving across to the right to the number one. That will be your first move. Then down a bit, Joe. Then you're going to be going to position number two turning right again. Then you're going to be going to position number three and then to position number four, where you started, okay? We'll just dance it and then we'll walk through how you achieve it. <laughs> This time So this figure has got stick clashing in it. So when you're starting at your start position and then you're going to clash twice with your sticks low um, while you're on the spot and then you're going to go move to the right to position number one and turn right as you do that. And on, at each corner spot you face into the, the centre of the square. Then you repeat that clash twice and then move on to the next corner, turning right as you do that. Clash twice, move on to the next corner,
going right, clash twice, and then back to where you started. So the shape should be like a four leaf clover. Um, yes, it, it, uh, it is. <laughs> Pauline and I used to dance uh, the dance that has Petronella in it, which is where, where this came from. <laughs> right, um, so we'll do a chorus, a uh, clover, a chorus and clover. <laughs> oh, do keep up, Pauline. Sorry, I thought that was another question. <laughs> no! Oh, well done, everyone! <laughs> figure isn't it yeah. <laughs> right um next figure is figure of eight and i'm going to ask my assistant <laughs> oh should we should we dance it first and then um we'll dance it first and then show all the way back to this you have, yes. make you do some exercise <laughs> Straight into the figure. <laughs> Um, towards the camera a bit and down a bit. So again, the red square is where you're starting off. Um, the star in the middle of the figure of eight is the centre of the square. And the two dots are where you put your stick. So you're imagining that your, your stick is there for you to dance round. So at the beginning, at the beginning of the figure, straight away, you sort of place your left stick in the top dot. And you're going to take four steps to effectively dance round your stick. Then you're going to put your right stick into the bottom dot and dance round that and then repeat it so it's not you travel further than the first yeah. step yeah you're you're traveling further to start with than you are in the rest and then put your stick into the bottom so that's the basic shape for walking um, the, the, the extra bit is some clashing, and when you swap your stick direction, the, the stick that's in the middle of the circle, the, the stick that's coming down clashes onto it.
and the clash is on an offbeat in the music. Can I just check that there's um, there are any people that can't see Pauline, so didn't see what she was doing? Can so is everybody could see that? Let me just check. <laughs> Right, no. Okay. Right. So it's it's basically two. Um, you're going round a figure of eight twice, um, and you're using your stick to help you do the turns in the, the two loops of the figure of eight. So we'll do um, a chorus. And a figure of eight twice. Two chorus. Two chorus. Well, chorus, chorus figure. Chorus figure. <laughs> Next time. better explain where we're putting the clashing on the hop after four so one hop two hop three hop four clash yeah that's where we're doing it uh, there's not a clash at the beginning but you can take this dance and adapt it however you like obviously this is just uh what we've been doing so it's one hop two hop three hop four clash on that hop in the changeover um, Anna, there isn't a clash at the end of the figure of eight, and there isn't one at the beginning. Um, right, Liz, um, is it the, the shape that you're walking the figure of eight, or I can't see Liz. Uh no, it's the whole. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. I it, I can't get my head round the shape, the f or the clashing, or that. Just the whole thing is a bit of a fog to me. I have to be honest. Um, do you want to show the picture again? Yep. Show the picture, and then I'll walk the figure out right. um, a bit closer. Let me just get onto um, speak of you. Right, Liz, can you see the picture? Yeah, so you start in the bottom left like normal. Yeah. You have and you have your right hand in. You have your right hand with the stick out. Yes, no. On your shoulder. And right hand stick. The right hand stick is on your shoulder. Your left hand stick goes straight down into the centre of the top half of the eight. Point to the top eight. Jay's pointing to the top dot. Yeah. So you sort of, but it's it's only vague. That's only vaguely, isn't it? It is vaguely. Yeah. 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 I mean, basically, you can just do a figure of eight in the in the square um, as the very basic shape. Um, yeah, I think I think that I think that that would be easier for for me to try and uh, try and do. Yeah. I think what looks nice in this figure is the changeover of the sticks. It's the up and the down and the up and the down of the sticks. So that's more important than the very nitty gritty where you actually stand in your eight. You see what I'm saying? 
it's more okay. that's the so show. Can, you the just, show. can you can you just talk me can you just talk me through that bit again then please you can you just talk me through the changing over of the sticks again please pauline so you, um, yeah. Sorry, you, you go Oh, do Linda going to do it? Your stick is pointing, your left hand is pointing down and you're going to go four steps round your left hand. Then you swap. So this point, that's there, I think. No, she's further round than that. Then your right hand is going down and you're going to sort of dance round your right stick. Then your left stick is going to go down and you dance round that. And then your right stick goes down and you dance around that. Um, some, somebody's just asked if they could have, if Pauline could be on full screen for figure eight. I don't know whoever's doing the uh, controlling. Yeah, Jenny could remove Linda's spotlight. Yeah. Yeah, so... The fig if I just walk the figure of eight without the sticks, maybe. So I'm gonna to go to the diagonal right. So I'm on the bottom left, I'm gonna go over there first, and then I'm gonna to turn to, to my left. Then I'm gonna go back to the other diagonal, and then I'm gonna to back to where I start. So the important thing is you set off in that diagonal, the one you did at the very beginning figure, if that helps, right now. So you've got to go up there and then turn left across the top. Then you don't have a choice really, you've got to go back diagonal to the other one and then the final thing is to come back to where you started. So once you've got the first two bits done, it's relatively, then you have to, you have to do the rest to make your figure of eight. And in terms of the sticks, what we're really looking for is the swapping of the sticks. That's the thing that people are going to notice. So it's about putting the left one da down and dancing around it, then putting the right one down and dancing around it, and then repeat. It's the same. If we maybe dance that again, leaving Pauline on the spotlight. So that you can see Pauline and the squares if you've only got one screen. Maybe a mismatch with the time. Yeah, but Pauline won't necessarily be completely in time with the music. <laughs> We're gonna do, we'll do a chorus figure of eight, chorus figure of eight again. <laughs> Liz? I think so, thank you. Right. Um, right, those are those are all the figures. <laughs> um, the very last chorus. Um, when we come to this last the we do the first three. And then the last one, you do the two clashes, but instead of doing two single steps backwards, you're going to do stamp, stamp, stamp. So it's clap, single step, clash, clash, stamp, 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 and your hands go up in the air and clash to finish. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we'll do um, we'll do the last chorus with the stump stump stump. <laughs> Um, what we'll do is start putting it together now, um, unless there's anybody that wants to go through anything more. Right. So any questions? Anyone wants to ask about any of the figures? Look at them, um, yeah, can you just walk, uh, talk us through each stage and just remind us which figures come in next? If you yes, I, I, yeah, I will do. Yeah. <laughs> right, um, so the, the first figure is foot up, which is diag four diagonally across, four back, and then a, a clockwise circle. Before I, I walk, uh, talk through any more, I'm trying to call as I'm dancing. Can you hear me when I'm calling? No. Right. Okay, what, what I'll do then, if when we go through it all, I will call the figures, but I won't dance it. So if Pauline can be spotlighted um, for that, and then you'll, everybody will see her dance it and then you can hear me calling it. Okay, right. So um, first figure was foot up, which was what we've just done, diagonally across, diagonally back, and then a circle. Back to back, um, going forward first to do a right, a back to back to the right, and then come diagonally backwards with a turn, turn 90 degrees, go across to the left, two steps to the left, four steps back, turning. Somebody's just asked if there'll be written notes afterwards. Yes, there will be. Um, windmill. Hopefully, we, we try to make the names of the figures um, mean give you some idea of the shape of the figures. So windmill is the um, going round in a clockwise circle with your right arm uh, circling the first time, turning left to turn out, and then going round in a anti-clockwise circle the second time with your left arm swinging. Clover, imagine the shape of a four leaf clover. Each time you're moving to the, to the right to go to the, the next corner of the square, you clash twice in front of your body and then turn to your right and go right. Then do the same again, clash twice, clash twice, clash twice and turn to the right. and then figure of eight. <laughs> so left hand pointing in to the top of half of the square, move, go round it, right hand down, go round it, left hand down, go round it, right hand go round, go down, it. go round it. And then the last chorus is the stamp, stamp, stamp at the end and finish with your sticks up in the air. Okay, so whole thing. I will, I'll try and call it um, just before the last um, backwards part of the chorus. 
to give you a bit of warning. Linda, just a thought. If yeah. we've only got your sound on, um, why don't you do this? If you're just going to call, why don't you do the stick clashes at the right point so people can hear them? Because they won't hear Pauline doing it. Right. This time What's up? So there's bound to be questions and when we did the hop when we did this changeover clash in the figure of eight we decided it was on the hop but you might not like that it's totally up to you if you don't want to do it that way so that would be the thing to work on possibly for some people yeah. and, Pauline, and when you're not um um uh, sue here when you're not doing something with your sticks they're on your shoulders are they like this yeah yeah like this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, just keep them neat and tidy out of the way because uh, it's too dangerous at home, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Does Sue have a question? Sue Brockhurst, are you okay? No, I'm fine. It's just that I've just recognised Liz Partington. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Um, some decisions now. We can we could do the dance again, or um, we can go into straight away into going through what the more complicated choruses are. You will still get a chance to go through the figures yeah. again because it's the same figures. Um, let's so if you let's think what if you can hands up if you want to do the dance the, the dance with the basic choruses again. Not very many. Try, I'll see other question. 
And the other question is now it, to go straight into the um, progressive choruses. Yeah, I think that wins. Yeah. Well, um, if you want, if you don't want to do the progressive choruses, you just want to go through that dance again. You can do the basic chorus because we'll be practicing the progressive choruses and then straight into a figure. So the figures will be the same. So instead of doing the complicated chorus, but well, you could do the basic chorus. So you're still practicing the dance. Again. Is that okay? Whoever. Um, I can't remember who said they wanted to do it again, just to check whether that's all right with them too. Can you wave at me if you if you if you are not happy with going straight on to the other choruses? Right. Okay. Right, the first, the first chorus is exactly the same. Um, so we would do the basic chorus and then a foot up. The second chorus is called candles. And we try to think of words that would help remember what you do. So candles, you're doing the same two stick clashing, but then instead of having your sticks on your shoulders, you're holding them upright in front of you like candles. So you do two clashes, sticks out in front of you to do the two single steps, and you turn as you did before on the hop. Again, two clashes, sticks out in front of you, two clashes, sticks out in front of you, two clashes, sticks out in front of you. So that's candles. So we'll, we'll dance a basic chorus and the foot up, the chorus with candles, and then a back to back. because you're doing the two clashes again and then you're holding the sticks out to the side. Depending on how much room you've got, it might be right out here or it might be here. So again, two clashes, sticks to the side and the two on the two single steps forward, clashes, sticks back, clashes, sticks out to the side, clashes, and sticks out to the side. Okay. So we'll do that chorus and that goes into windmill, which windmill is uh, the clockwise circle with your uh, hand rotating like a windmill sail and then going anti-clockwise. So it's chorus, I'll just, it's, I just call out sides and then windmill. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, the next one is called flat because we do the two clashes again and then we hold them uh, parallel flat. Um, so two clashes in the air, six parallel and flat, two clashes in the air, six parallel, two clashes, six parallel, two clashes and six parallel. And then it goes into clover. So when, when you've got your sticks parallel, they're then going straight down to do the two clashes. The clover, which is where you you're moving to the next place round to the right. So it's the same two clashes and then flat. So it's a flat chorus and clover. I'll just check if there's any problems with those. Those four are all very basic apart from the, um, the last bit which changes. Uh, let's just check, gallery. Any hands on heads? <laughs> uh. right. right, next. Um, Next one is front and back. Uh, you've just, you've finished clover, so your, your hands will be down anyway. Front and back, you're going to clash your sticks in front of you like you did in clover at the front, and then at the back, and then keep them down. So the two steps, single steps on the spot are front, back, and then keep your sticks down and move on. Front, back, move backwards. Front, back, move forwards. Front, back, move backwards. And that will go into a figure of eight. So your sticks are down. So at the end of that chorus, you'll have to put your right stick on your shoulder and your left stick will go into the circle. So it's a front and back chorus and figure of eight. <laughs> chorus is called high and low and that's two clashes up in the air and then you swoop your sticks down to the side of you so two clashes in the air swoop your sticks down two clashes in the air swoop your sticks down two clashes in the air swoop your sticks down two clashes in the air and keep them in the air because it's the last chorus so you're then going to do stamp, 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 and clash and keep them up. Um, yes, Penny, we can have a break before going through the whole dance. We'll just do that chorus and then have a quick break if you need a comfort break or a drink 
and then we will go through the whole dance. I'm not tired. <laughs> I'm fresh. I'm happy to go on. And you can either do the basic choruses or the progressive choruses. So we'll just do that last chorus, which is high, low, um, and then finish sticks in the air. <laughs> Right, so uh, while we have a, a quick break, I shall uh, have a look and see if there's any questions or if anybody wants to ask anything. We'll have a drink. Yeah, because we can dance it. We've got time to do it a couple of times, haven't we? Yeah. And it's quite complicated with all the progressive choruses. There's quite a lot to remember. Especially when you have to try and call them as well. Well, yeah, you've got the hardest job, Linda. <laughs> Uh, let me go on to gallery view and see if there's any uh, any questions. If people either want to put them in the chat or uh, mm. or just talk to us. Yeah. Are you going to explain about notation, Pauline? Oh well, I'm yes. Um, Linda's done a great set of notes, and um, it's in the Morris Federation's notation library, and I'll circulate it with the. Uh, email after the event. Um, if I get a chance to get the recording trimmed, I'll put. You'll get everything. You'll get the whole workshop, and the, there's a video. I don't know if you saw that in the email I sent. There's a five minute video with us demonstrating it, and then there'll be the notation as well. So you you will have everything, and you may do with it what you will. We did work out that you can actually do it if two people are in a bubble, you can do it for two people if they stand at opposite, diagonally opposite sides of the square. The only, and um, when you do um, windmill, you can actually clash as you go round with your partner. Um, the only one that you would have to sort of play around with is figure of eight and probably not do the putting your stick into the centre of the um, the loops because... No, we found that if you do figure of eight, you can put your stick forward, but when you are coming back towards your home, the changeover then, you need to put the stick behind the bum of the person going the other way. The, the normal timing, you'd be putting the stick in their path. So you just delay the second stick change slightly, and then your right hand will go behind their backside towards that bottom spot to rotate about that. But that does enable you then to do two people in the same two meter square facing each other. You think it, this is danced better with two people rather than one person? Because there's a lot of stick, sticks clashing going on. I think it would look nice with two people facing yeah. directions yeah. as you go around the square. And if you look at the video that we've, uh, Linda and I have done, I'm like on the left and she's on the right. We're facing opposite directions. So you can get an idea of what it would look like we as a two person. When sides get going again after the COVID lockdown finishes, you may wish to put your sets closer together and do it with lots of two people in the same, or you may yeah. choose to do it with everybody dancing more spread out. It's up to you. There's a question about the tune. The tune four up is actually on the internet. Um, and it's played at, I was gonna mention if I had a chance, the speed at which you play is probably gonna be determined by the natural speed at which your side dances. Some people have sides that dance very slowly, uh, deliberately, lethargically, whatever adjective you think of, and other sides dance more frenetically, energetically. So there's nothing sacred about the speed, but I've seen four up played at a, what I've called breakneck speed. I wouldn't want to dance at that speed. So um, the dots and recordings, depending on how your musician learns, are out there on the internet. 
Um, so four up, Barry Goodman. He wrote it in 2001, I think. That should enable you to find it. The name is written in the chat, if you're reading the chat. So four, one, two, three, four, up. And it's, it'll be in the notation as well. But not the dots. Just not the dots. No, not the dots. Right. Um, so um, doing the whole dance, uh, do you think to, for those people that perhaps can only see one screen or can't hear very well, is it easier, Pauline, if I call it and you dance it? Right, so people are nodding. So if we can have the spotlight on Pauline and I'll, um, I'll call the dance. I'll just quickly go through the, um, this a paper. Of course. So the first chorus is the basic chorus into a foot up. Then the next chorus is candles. Um, into a back-to-back. -back. The next chorus is side into windmill. Next chorus is flat into clover. Then front and back, um, you, at the end of the figure you, of clover, your hands are down, so they're in the right position to clash at the front low and at the back low and then you keep your sticks low. Then it's into figure eight. And then the last chorus is high and low. So it's two up in the air again, swoop your sticks down, but the very last time you keep your sticks up to clash in the air. Right, so whole, whole thing. Uh, Okay, yeah.
Hi there, this is Sue, Sue Anderson. I just wanted to ask if you adapt it, I might have missed this when uh, we had the little couple of minute break, but if you adapt this for, for two people, how do you change the foot up so that people don't collide? Um, just go side by side, so <laughs> when you go across the circle, you would pass, well, you decide whether you'd pass right or left shoulders when you do the diagonal bit. Okay, thank you very much. You could even do a back-to-back -back around each other, I suppose. <laughs> I was wondering whether or not it can be adapted for bedlam stepping or does it have to be single stepping? No, we, we did think about doing bedlam stepping actually. We did think about it, but we decided that this tune was better with single stepping. So it does maybe depend on the tune you choose. I think the A music was one, either the A or the B didn't quite fit with double stepping. So we, uh... okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, my view on tunes is that the tune is not welded to the dance. If, if your musicians have got a tune that they would prefer that you agree fits and that they think fits as well, I've never seen a tune and a dance being irretrievably tied together. In fact, many times I've deliberately chosen to put a different tune to a dance, either because I like it or I think it fits better or it just moves the tradition forward. Yeah, I've noticed that different sides dance different dances to different tunes, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Francis, are you okay about the, the back to back? I'm not quite sure what you mean here. Is she still there? Sure. Sure. Yeah. When I do a back to back and I go forward my steps and I turn this way, I find it hard to turn around to go back that way. I keep coming back backwards now when you go well it's kind of go inside your triangle francis so if you're going this way then you'd go inside your triangle but i think you were trying to go the other way on this one okay you do it there and you go that way but i still want to come backwards on my triangle well you can do that that's yeah. the, some teams do that some teams just do a back to back as a, like a triangle and others like to put a twiddle in. So I think it, it doesn't matter. It's up to the, you know, if you want to take it on, it's up to your team to make the uh, decision on what they want to do with it. And some people hate spinning because their head doesn't go yeah. with it. So you need to do that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, find it awkward. <laughs> Sides that have got long tatter jackets tend to spin because as they spin, the tatters fly out and it looks more spectacular. But we've noticed different sides definitely have a different approach to the amount of spinning that they put in. You're right, you can even make, I mean, if you watch the video closely that we made, the, the three minute one, I do an exaggerated turn, I realise, and that presumably that's because when I'm wearing a rag jacket, that would look nice and spin out. So yeah, you. Uh, it, Jay's right, you should do what looks good as, as a performance. And that's what we try to do to give different, give a variety to the different um, choruses so that it doesn't all look the same. So you've got this, you've got that, you've got you know, all the different ones. But yeah, do with it what you like. Should we do it again? Yeah. Yay. Okay. Nice. I'll just uh, is it calling? It's on the right now. I'll, I'll try and shout it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well done. We need we need some canned applause, don't we? <laughs> that was that was an applause. That was an applause. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so for you guys. Thank right. you everyone for coming. Yeah, thank, thank you everyone for coming.